It's Friday, and it's raining cats and dogs here in Nova Scotia. It really is. Can I say that one more time? It's Friday. Don't want to say it too loud. We've got a new mic on. Don't want to scare anybody. Uh, what's going on right now? To uh, do, to do. Got the hood on. Really happy with that. Really happy with how it looks. This is Aiden's piece that we got ground off and polished. We did the exact same process that I did to the other side. I did to his piece. He actually did most of his piece and then I just showed him what I've done to get it clean and to make it look half decent. Um, you can go further. Yes, you can. You can go further if you want to, but I do not uh, see the necessity of that because I, I know, um, I just know that nobody's welding up cars without putting body filler on them. And we've done a good enough job, in my opinion, that we're good to go with fill there or anywhere else in the truck really because, uh, let's face it, we're building the truck on the fly. Also, uh, when people build brand new cars or they build them out of clay, you know, I mean, you really have to um, take that concept in your head when you're building something like this. Um, I feel it's okay to use filler. Uh, the pros do. Why, you know, who, who's to say we can't? Um, that's how I feel about that. So when, it, when you're welding a piece in your truck or you're welding a piece in your car, do the best job you can. It does not matter it does not matter how much body filler is in your vehicle because of the fact that it took what it took. It takes what it takes. And uh, as I'm doing this, I'm very happy with it. Um, I, I know we got a little seam going on there. We got a little seam going on there. Everything is going to have to be covered up. Going to have to be. I use a, a fiberglass body filler first, just because we're in Nova Scotia and I didn't want anything to pop out. I would do all the seams in fiberglass, a fiberglass body filler. Uh, all the seams, uh, wherever it's welded. And that means, that means, that means this whole truck will be covered in body fill. The whole thing, the whole thing, right from head to toe. I don't mean to be so hard on people, but it's the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the truth. When you have something welded here and you have something welded there and you have filler on this piece and you have filler on this piece, you must realize to make something come flush or flooded, you must run over both surfaces to make it look good. So that means there'll be filler over the whole thing. And that's basically what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I'm saying that first thing this morning, but I am. Uh, I'm looking at it. I know how much work it is because I've done it so many times. I've filled these vehicles out so many times by myself, with help, without help. <coughs> <coughs> All ways I've done it. Uh, but uh, this is going to be a big one. It really is because it's a bigger vehicle. But right now I have these side curtains on here. And I'm just running the level on the bottom. I don't really know if the truck is level or not. Like, I don't know right this second. But that is not what's necessary. Um, I'm going to have to, I want to take this back off. I got some new square stock over here. I got some new stuff. So that means I got one piece to run from end to end. Uh, I'm going to take that off. I've got a repair to do on this fender. There's a, there's a hole there, and I'm going to have to do a repair on it before I put this piece over top. And I've, I've got the sills. The sills are brand new underneath there. They're looking good. Um, I want the fender to still look like it's brand new looking good. Um, I don't have to, uh, what can I say? I want to fix it before I put this over top of it. You're going to be able to see in there, and I want to be able to make it look nice underneath there, just like it was over here if someone looked up inside. Then they can see that it's a fake curtain, and I don't care. <laughs> it does not bother me. Um, it's an idea that you can use. You can take a piece and weld up from the bottom all the way over inside there if you want to, and, and spot weld it on to make it like it could be factory. I'm not going to, I don't think. But here we go. i got to take that off, take this all off, and I'm going to fix that fender. That's what I'm going to do. That's what i got to do. That's what I got to do. It's Friday. Me and Jolene are going to go for a drive after this. We got to go get some hill skier. Jolene has ordered up some new stuff. She has ordered up some new stuff. Let's get this fender on. See what happens. Her fender fixed. I really have to get down and do it, right? I can jack it up, yes, and, and lean over and get it face, I guess. Uh, sometimes I don't mind laying down. <laughs> I don't mind laying down, as long as it's comfortable. Now I have a few places I've got to tack.
Now, I'm going to mark that just so I know. I have got, as you can tell, I got some new jeans on. I got no markers in there. I got no markers. I just give a big pat and I had no marker. New jeans on. I think these are the skinniest ones I got. I usually wear skinny jeans. But maybe I could be not back enough from the dinner table quick enough. <laughs> beep, beep. I just want to mark where it goes underneath the door skin. Looks to me like a... See, that's all right there. It's all right there. Or I think it's all right. And this door's this, this uh, car is round. Let's re let's remember here. This car is like got this round shape here. So this is really going to be somewhat trying to get it on. It really is quarter inch there. We'll say a quarter inch from there to there. This is the back. I think it's got to go that way anyways. That's how much, that's where the bubble is right now. Just poking it on there. That's where the bubble is. Doesn't matter, but it's showing you how close we are without messing with it a whole lot. I'm going to drop the front and the thing should, I got a spot weld here and it should fall off. Then we're going to fix that fender and, uh, Well done. Well done. I might even, this is what I might do, I might even, I might even weld those on my square stock before I put it up on. Maybe, maybe. But that is not what I'm concerned with right now. What I'm concerned with this this uh, this edge here. When this edge comes up here, I'll make a new edge come up here. It will not have this lip on it. It's going to be welded to wherever I cut this piece. And I think we had it on a 45 there, so it's going to end up being cut to this piece. So this is going to be its brand new edge, matching up with this one. But I need to take. I need to take cut. I've got a few pinholes right here. That's going to be fine because they're going to be cut out because of the this piece right here. But I need this piece right here, going right there, I need that. I do, I do. I'm just gonna get a piece of cardboard and that's, I find it easier that way. We'll grab a piece of cardboard. Yeah. I could chuck it out after I use it, but I, I just feel like it's not necessary. Not necessary. That's like the judge asked me. I wanted to say something. He said, is it necessary? And I thought about it for a second. No, it's not necessary. Just be quiet. <laughs> you know, just, you know what I mean? Like just, it's not necessary. Nope. Not necessary at all. Just going to bend that up on there. Somewhat of a... I'm going up to there. And I'm rotting over to there. I'm going to cut that out. Just trying to repair the fender. I've got a pinhole here. And that's where it is there. We'll make a small piece and then we'll just keep making it smaller and making it smaller and making it smaller. And the basics of this is do as fast as you can. Do as fast as you can. And why would you not? That's how you become good. That's how you become good. You can make it a little smaller. And it doesn't have to. I'm going to say, it doesn't have to be that shape that I drew on there. I can make it even smaller than that if I want to. It's up to me. I'm the man at the scissors. 
I'm the man with the scissors. We're up there. I don't know if it's a pin or not, but be satisfied. Don't have to cut the bottom off. The bottom's fine, really, to be honest with you. Nope, I'll just cut her off. Yeah, I'll just get a piece of metal. Let's cut it this shape. Do it as quick as we can. And as accurate as we can. Remember, we have to remember this piece is getting covered up. This piece is getting covered up by that pan. But also, you, you want to do the best you can, you know, we're covering it up, but it still wants to look good. Jolene looks amazing today. Jolene always looks amazing. We were getting ready this morning, I was looking at her, and she said, what? I said, I like looking at you. I like looking at you. Why would I not, baby? I like looking at you. Flatten that out. 18 gauge, I use 18 gauge almost for everything. And the reason being is, gives me something to grind, gives me something to weld, and it seems to be just a little bit thicker than what everybody, like what the car is using, not what everybody else uses, it doesn't matter what everybody uses to me. It seems to be a little bit thicker than what's going on there. And somehow, some way, that makes me feel good in my brain, <laughs> right? I'm doing just a little bit better than what it, you know, it has. Um, and also, like when you get to grind it, you, get, you do get a little more forgiveness when the metal's a little thicker. Also, uh, you get a little bit more when it comes time to, time to weld it, it's a little thicker. It, it, it helps, you know, in my eyes, it helps me all the way around. The shaping part, uh, I generally let the tools do that, I guess. Or, yeah, let the tools do it. Try to. Just flatten that out because I want it to. Got my marker. Let's get my marker. I'm just going to plant that on there. Right there. Just match it up there and roll it up. And I know, actually, I know where my, my bend is right now. Just mark them where the bend is. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm going to let that machine do the trick, right? The shaping part. I'm going to let them do, let them, the machine do that part. Keep the camera moving, baby. I'm kind of fast. What's that, baby? Didn't hear you, sweetheart? Oh, okay. Okay, man. Sorry. Got that little pass here. That's fine. I like that. I got a little tiny quarter of an inch bend on the bottom. I'm just going to go over and give her a little touch so it looks like it always was. Not much for driving in the rain, but we'll, we'll take her slow. Come on, baby. Take her slow. Just a little bit of a bend there. Not much of one, to be honest with you. Hit it with a hammer, probably get a little bit more. I'm just going to go in here, beat it over this thing. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. 
I'm going to weld that over there on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this a little bit so it goes up with that door. That's where the door was. And I'm going right back farther than the... something with this piece. La, 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 la. Here we go. Here we go. It's hitting on the bottom and not fitting quite right. There we go. Cut that off and I'll be good to go. I'm gonna cut this right here, cut that back so it fits on this edge of this weld. I don't need to go over top of that anymore, I don't figure. Going for it this morning. Go to the things you gotta do. It's Friday. This truck will get this truck will get some kind of some kind of something on the underneath of it from uh, from a rock guard to a bed liner to an undercoating of crown that, that something will go underneath this truck that'll protect it and hold it that's what I'm hoping I'm not hoping that's what will happen um, that stuff will be used wherever I think it's necessary now we're back up with the weld there we got a piece on there I'm gonna cut this <laughs> it's good for a workout too getting up and down getting up and down believe me if you don't use it you lose it i believe that i believe that so much if you don't use it you lose it Eyeballs. All right, I got some spot welds to deal with, I guess. Ah, don't want to do that. 
Don't want to cut my inside. There's an inside construction there. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut it. I just want to put the bottom of that fender piece on. That's basically all I want to do. Excuse me, sweetheart. There she be, all in a handbag. <laughs> See what's, see what's going on. It's good too. I can see where the fender goes now. Inside construction right there has got a little crack and I'm going to stack, just stick that back together. Cut this back a little bit. Not going nowhere. It's like a surrogate. Watch your eyes be hit. Got our new piece. Got our new piece. Slide it in there. There you go. Tick tack, tickety tack. Give a dog a bone. Soul man is right on. Cool. I'll have to shape it down there a little bit with the sill. Alrighty. Let's take and unplug that one. Plug this one. America's Most Talent right there. Behind my back. You've seen it. If it works. Oh, it works. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Get gloves. You know, it's it, you know, if it, it was easy to put that on for me, that was easy to put that on. This is the part where I have to take it back off to fix something, and then cover it up. It's like, ugh. it's not something that, you know, as a person that wants to do something quickly and get it done, uh, it's not something I want to do. It's, it's like, yeah, but it's okay because it's Friday. And I'm going to be hanging up with Jolene. Just simple as that. Just as simple as that. Oh, we're not plugged in either. That's okay. Got my ground though. Got my ground. Already. Aiden did a fantastic job on his side yesterday. Did a fantastic job. Uh, the speed was there. Fantastic. You know. Fantastic. I know. I get her stuck in there. She'll be stuck in there. Come on. Be nice. Play nice. There. Play nice. <clears throat> Unplug this. Hmm. Do you think that's going to play? Oh, I played nice. Here we go. We get her set on six. Get her, let's see. Get her helmet on. 
supporting Brad Auto Sales today. I like the hat. We're going to be getting some of that color. Da -da 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 -da. I want to thank Lincoln Electric this morning. Thank Lincoln Electric this morning. I seen on uh, I watched the Canadian Tire Flyer. I say they have a Lincoln welder there on sale. You know, anybody want to start, that's where to grab it. And when you get to the professional leg there like that, when they send us all this big fancy stuff, then you gotta learn all over again. <laughs> I'm gonna, ouch. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun to uh, learn some of that stuff that they've gotten on there, like the TIG and the MIG, or the stick and all that stuff. Because I can use it in certain areas, that's for sure. We're just going there, I guess. I got, the, I got myself booby trapped a little bit. I'm going to move a couple things. I need the air. And this is why I can get them in fairly, get it in fairly quick with the air helps, I find. Here we go. Let's get this thing in here. Let's, let's do it. If I can get it in here, got to crack in this and fix it. If it'll take off. Want to get it to look the best it can to start with. I'm going to start with this piece over here. If I can see it. there. Cool. Go back where I can get it. the ground on it. Yeah, it's all right. I got it right here. I'm cruising. We got things we got to do today, right? That's why I'm cruising. We got things we got to do today, and if we don't cruise along, some of the things we want to get done don't get done, and that's not what we want. Just going to use a zip cut here. Give me the hammer. The fender and the sill are a little different shape. This runs down. You got a small crease this one's got a nice roll i've got the fender going on there i'm going to have to make it fit you can see how the fender's got a nice roll here that's got a sharp crease on that one two different things going on but that's okay i got a plan for that is to cut it <laughs> and that, that, i can hammer that in too but i want to cut it back <laughs> Taking 
little bit off her. Wasn't fitting in tight. Guys, this door's getting there. Now, that doesn't want to do that. Different thing going on there. Gonna take a little bit out of it. Get a little different thing going on there, I guess. You can see how I zip weld it or just weld it back together again. And what I have done there is I have shrunk it. I've shrunk the metal. Shrunk it. Because I've taken some away from it. Just so it fits that seal better. We got a nice round going on here. We got a sharp one going on there. Does not work, so we fixed that. Probably couldn't come back some, but it don't matter. Let's get some tacks of weld on her and get her welded up. got like a little edge ledge there where we put the door skin coming down where we welded it on we well pretty well got it butted but the ledge of the weld where the of the lever, layer of the metal now when we put this piece on I'm going to try to get that piece right underneath here and take that out of it Spits at you and comes back out. I like to just hit it again with the welder. I've got a spot right there that's not enough weld, so I'm just going to fill that full of weld. When I grind it off, it'll look good. If you don't like something, the way something looks after you've ground it off and, and whatever, Weld it again. Just trying to make it make sure it's flush, that's all. Playing it smart there, not uh, trying to make a new, try, trying to make a new spot weld. I am, I am joining on to one that's already there and weld off top of it, and that way there I don't have to mess around with it. It's held in place. 
It's not going anywhere. So I'll just join up with my buddies. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, use that support to make it look good. Fill that little area up for a little bit of weld. So I can grind it off and make it look good. Once you get it to start getting it this close together, I, I find it best to start running fours on it because the weld will look a little nicer. Um, by keep you know spot at one spot at a time um yes it keeps the heat down i'm just trying to speed it up a little bit by doing one two three four because i don't feel it'll work So I'm going to join on to one that's already welded. This one's got two, this one's got one. So I'm going to do, go with that one, I guess. Why not? Let the red go away and then hit it. It's like pumping your brakes. Ah, I'm going to hit one more time. Get a hole going there. Heat. Tap that just a little bit. See that? See where I've welded that? I actually should be welding that over to where that weld mark is. So when I grind it off, it's just complete weld. Now when I grind that off, I'm going to have that welded surface, that welded surface. It's not going to go together. And I should have just welded it right over to the welding surface. You know, that's what I'm getting at sometimes when you're welding something. Have to play that game. I'm going to fix that. But here we go. I'm going to take and weld from here. Instead of having a weld mark here and a weld mark here, why, not, why wouldn't I weld from there all the way over? and close that in so I can grind it off. What I'm like exactly what I'm doing right here. It'll look better when it's ground off. And it's only a little bit of weld. Right? You see I get a little pocket there, I'll put some more in it. And grind it off. Make it look better. sense. You do as much grinding as I do, you, you get to see all that stuff. If you're just welding all the time, you generally, you wouldn't notice it probably. But if you're grinding a lot, a lot of welds, like for me to do that, eh.
change it up this time going to the weld. much thigh gap. It's not hot at all. Not hot at all. to the weld. How's it going, baby? Good. Ah, it's in there. What I'll do there is I'll start here and work my way up. Got some weld in there. I don't have to weld it, it's welded, but I want some weld in there between that welding missing stuff. So, so it looks half decent. That's all I'm doing. Just putting. I'm putting in material so I can grind it off to make it look a little better. Better one strip than two, I guess. Ah, I break two my fingers.
Since that didn't work, I was going to get my welding rod, but I didn't need it. Good. Awesome. Got the bottom of the fender fixed. That's what I needed. I need that hole fixed there. Did not want that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of time to grind it off. Time's it, baby? 46. 46. Can I get it done in 15 minutes? Sure I can. Sure I can. Put my hat back on. Let's, let's, play, the, let's play this out in my brain, what i got to do here. Got to get a different grinder. Earmuffs on. I'm just going to grind it off so it looks half decent. I'm going to move this out of my way. Yeah, I had to slope it back there for that fender to make it fit there, right? But hey, I think it looks better that way. It'll look, it looks, well, it fits better that way, I guess. I'm gonna bend that down some. Da, 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 da. Just want a pair of pliers to bend that down. Probably channel locks are right here anyways. There they are right there. Just want to bend this piece down. So if you get underneath her, you think the bottom fender was that's the bottom fender. Fucking thing in there. Excuse my records. There's, there, there's another thing, there's another thing, it's really important, it, I think it's really important how well you grind your car because the simple fact is um, you, no one's, no one's uh, mudding right over top of their welds, generally they're grinding them. If you're not careful with grinding them, you really can mess up what you have going on. Basically what I'm doing is I'm holding the, end of the, or the angle of this grinder right on the weld the best I can, not trying to hit the fender whatsoever so I can keep all that meat. I, I, yeah, you can really, you really have to be careful when you're grinding um, your welds. It really means something, and we all know that we all grind our welds, good or bad. 
that's the reality of it. sand that with the sanding wheel now because I'm close enough what I mean by I'm close enough is that I've got it jagged up a little I got it jagged up there and uh, now when I put the sander on it the sanding wheel will have something to sand when it's all smooth and stuff it like that like when it's all smooth like that you can rub it on there and scratch it up a bit and I generally not try not to push it on because it'll really dig at it but now that it's all jagged like that and it should sand good uh, it's like crisscrossing your sandpaper. When you crisscross your sandpaper, the better it works. So what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to try to hold the sandpaper right on the weld so it just sands the weld if I can. Basically what I want to try to do. And I do that by looking at the metal, looking at this metal, and looking at the weld. What is it hitting? Well, I can see myself, I can see it sanding right there, hitting is not hitting there or there. I don't mind flushing it off to this metal, but I try not to do it on this one because this is the car one. This is 18 gauge, a little thicker. I've got that allowance. I didn't need to weld it over there, but it looks a little better than having two strips of weld going. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I thought. Ah, I'm that hot. Job that with a welder right there. I got that somewhat clean. I'm gonna take this an angle off a little bit. Just like this a little better. Ugh. Actually, I like the cutting grinder to knock the edge of that off. I got my metal a little hot right there. Didn't like that. 
cutting wheel. Just a little more precision, that's all. That's all it is. You can use small tools to do it, or you can use the grinder, mini grinder, to do it. Whichever one you prefer. It's up to you. Take a drill and just clean it up. Used a bunch of different things to clean it, but it does make it look better. That's the bottom of the fender. In fact, you can show that, baby, if you want. That's what it looks like. Uh, are we less than an hour? Yeah! All right, let's give away a hat a shirt. Wasn't going for that the first thing, but why not? Let's give away a hat or a shirt. And I had to do that to, I had to do that to get that fender, that piece put on. Could not put that on before before I fix the button, the fender. What I will do on the inside of that fender, now I know it's like that, or everybody should know like the bottom of the fender is like that. I will shoot undercoating in there and let it penetrate and do what it, what it should do. If I took and tried to undercoat that before I put that, well, that piece in there, I had a chance of it catching on fire. I had a whole bunch of stuff uh, to put paint on it. Eh, I'd rather, I'd rather put the undercoating on it so it can soak into the metal. That's what that stuff does. It soaks in the metal or it's trying to, believe it or not. Thanks for the support on the Fram, Fram video. That was a sponsored video, video by Fram, and I appreciate it very much. Let's face it, all content is content. Lori Deem. Lori Deem. Awesome content. We think alike, Lori Deem. I was just talking about content, good content, bad content, it's all content. That right there is what I had to do this morning. It's Friday. That's what I had to do this morning to get that piece going on there. I have to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. The quicker I get it done, the quicker it gets done. That's how it goes. Um, become the best you can. And what that means is become the fastest you can at the job that you do. Why not? And that way there, um, that way there, uh, you'll always be needed. Have a good day, everybody. Me and Jolene are. <laughs>